This is the Alpha Foxtrot S15. I've got a good camera here. This is my uh, this is my iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's got good resolution. It's a good camera. Uh, so this is the frame of the gun. Look at those rails. I mean, not the rails, the dust cover area. It is beefy. Uh, this thing is uh, aluminum alloy. It appears to have been milled out of an aluminum block or an alloy block. Uh, again, I'm not a I'm not a gunsmith, so if I'm using the wrong terminology or kind of misspeaking, let me know in the comments. But I really don't. I'm not inviting gunsmiths to kind of start picking apart my fucking videos. Uh, this is I'm just sharing information. There are no other videos uh, that I'm aware of, and, and I looked of this Alpha Foxtrot S15 showing the frame and nothing else attached to the gun. Um, there is nothing else on it. I, it's it, the lower is as far, I mean, broken down as I can get it. It's really nice. You can see the checkering here, front checkering. Um, this is really what makes the gun. Uh, the side uh, texturing is really nice as well. It's not overly aggressive. I've heard people complain that it's not enough. I don't see how because if I press down in this, you can actually see the texturing on my fingers. Um, and I'm you know, and I'm not even leveraging a full grip. I'm just kind of pressing down. I'm pinching the frame on the texturing between my two fingers, and you can see the. Can you see that? Yes, you can. I can see it. I'm looking at my uh, my laptop, which this footage is streaming to. Um, front and rear rails, rail inserts. You can actually see where it's bolted down there. It looks like a set screw or a roll pin. I, I, I can't tell. Um, with the rear one, I'm not sure what's holding it in place. I don't see a set screw. And it's dirty under there. I missed a spot, but yeah, I don't see a, any screw that's holding that down, so I'm not sure how it's being held, uh, but it's it's pretty, very light. Uh, trigger, you can see 900 rounds of wear right there. I could probably stand to a uh, take a stone to that. Uh, so the trigger on this is an adjustable trigger. You can see the hole in the trigger shoe there. Um, so I am not sure. I'm pretty sure that I cannot find any replacement. Like uh, if I wanted to kind of add a trigger to this frame, uh, this frame is kind of unique. Uh, this gun, in order to kind of give you uh, double stack capability using the Shield Arms mags, which are compatible and, and designed for Glock 48s and Glock, what is it, 43X. Um, This has to use like a non-standard, non-OEM, non-1911 non, uh, patterned uh, trigger shoe. So I'm almost positive that I will not be able to fit a single stack trigger in here because the bow is not going to fit. As well, uh, this grip is thin enough to where uh, a double stack trigger is not going to fit because the bow will be too wide and as you can see here there's not a lot of room to play with and do we have this upside down yes we do let's put this back in here you can see there's not not a lot of room there so that's one of the cons of this gun uh, Alpha Foxtrot, they're coming out with some new guns, um, some new designs, so they're they're not above kind of innovating and, and doing new things.
but you would think that they would start uh, considering offering some like things like triggers for this gun. Uh, some people want a flat trigger. I wouldn't mind having a flat trigger in this. I love flat triggers. Um, my bull army, my carry gun has a flat trigger and I think there's certain advantages to that. Uh, at least for me, other people don't like them. Um, but I shoot my ultralight, uh, very well. And it's probably due to that trigger. Uh, not only is that trigger, you know, it, it's flat based on trigger shoe, but, um, it may have had some work done to it not sure uh, but when you're when you're paying for a gun that costs that much you should you would expect that trigger to be pretty damn nice so uh, people they might want to be able to use a, a different trigger in their in their s15 and because of the way the gun is designed uh, they're not going to be able to do that so alpha foxtrot if you're listening uh, yes please release some some options regarding the trigger in the shoe as well as uh, a lot of people have been asking for ambidextrous uh, thumb safeties this is a single uh, and looking at this you're not going to be able to find uh, any other safety that's on the market that'll that'll fit this gun because again I you know it's 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 different it's non-standard uh, and people want options so um, we talked about earlier some of the uh, the mem parts uh, so this is not mem uh, there's nothing mem about this and typically I'd, I mean for the bow itself I'm not sure if that's ever but I don't see I mean really it's just a, a trigger it doesn't need to do much it's not a stress part uh, but this this appears to be mem right there I'm trying to get the light to hit it well so it's lubed up it's not dirty it's not dirty uh, lubricant I cleaned it last night or the night before uh, that appears to be a mem part the spur itself I can't tell I'm not even sure that's important but I would it appears to be mem there you go I'm not sure if that the camera picks that up okay let me see if I can look along the spline there the spur see those mold holes so both both pieces to this are mem. Um, main spring housing. It's not a stress part, I believe. I don't see any. I don't see any mem. I don't see any indication that that's mem. Um, beaver tail. I don't believe that's mem, and it looks. I mean. I can see machine marks. I don't think this is mem. Um, this is mem. And in addition to that, I'm not sure why they painted this, but it's crusty. Um, we cleaned this before. This is not paint that's coming off. I mean, this isn't carbon that's coming off. This is like it's shedding uh, paint material. So they painted this and it's not adhering well. It's got slowly flaking off. It's kind of porous filling, but you can see the mold holes. Not sure. Should be able to, the camera should be picking that up. There's two on each side of that hole there. Uh, okay. Disconnector. Not sure if the camera picks that up. You should be seeing two holes on each side of that square. It's mem. Not even going to check the pins. 
not even worried about this because uh, you know this is not a stressed part this meaning being the uh magazine catch here's the sear spring and i believe that covers everything we covered everything regarding the lower not really concerned about the upper everyone has seen the upper on these guns uh but yeah so there it is um i don't have any pictures of these and what i'll probably do is after i crunch the video footage i'll stop some of the footage and take pictures from the footage but yeah there you go